I just got batteries for all my little thingies. So now I can put batteries in them again. And I'm very excited. I bought a big thing of bulk batteries from Sam's Club. And I'm putting them to use. Oh girl, what happened there? It was backwards. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of shopping lately. So I went dress shopping early in, well about like mid-March. And um, since my mom was visiting, we decided to go to a bunch of different thrift stores. I went with her and I went with another family member. And they both love thrifting, we all love thrifting. It's always super fun whenever I hang out with both of them. Um, so we went to a bunch of different thrift stores and then on top of that I have done a little bit of shopping online just a little I have discovered the world of whatnot which is super dangerous basically only watched like one person I downloaded the app because of her shows and now I've started watching like a bunch of different people and it's super dangerous because like all of this stuff is so cute and like the prices are so much better than like Depop or even like Poshmark or all of these different places. I also have a package waiting for me at my post office. So I'm gonna put my hair back for this. Uh, let's get started. So I guess we'll start with the thing that I wanted to wear today, but it doesn't fit my boobs. I have too much boobage going on for this shirt. So um, this will actually be on my Depop if you like it um this is just a little what do you call these it's kind of like a little lingerie top um it's just from forever 21 but it's this like dusty rose color it's a size small little adjustable straps too um this is probably better suited for somebody with less boobs um i'm usually not a small i don't know why i thought this would work i just thought it was really cute so i was like fuck it you know um, yeah, I'm usually like 38, 39 in the bust. That's nowhere near a small Jackie. This is a little, like, almost like a dusty blue. It is not showing up on camera correctly, but it's like a little dusty blue long sleeve. And it is by the brand, like, High Five. I don't, I've never seen that. Um, it's also a size small, but this fits me very good. Um, I actually wore this, had to wear a bra with this, and I was like boobing. I was like, why are my boobs boobs? Like I, like I forget that I have boobs, I guess. But I was like, God damn, where did your boobs come from, girl? The sleeves are super, super long. I love sleeves that like come over my hands a little bit, and they kind of have like, a little like lettucey hem um i'm so glad i randomly grabbed this 10 out of 10 um i've been loving dusty blue lately with like gray jeans i have these gray like oversized mom jeans from american eagle that i got while i was on vacation in florida oh it is the best combo ever i have a little tank top that's in this color it's like a victoria's secret like sleep tank top but it's really comfy and really cute so I wear it like just as a top um I also have matching shorts which is like mm -hmm. it's the same color obsessed with it so I think I need more uh dusty blue thing next I don't really know how I'm gonna show this because it is a maxi dress and we're like Jackie bought a maxi dress yes so I am not really a maxi dress kind of girly I like my skirts relatively short um basically my preferred length of skirt is to the point where I have to wear shorts underneath because it will be too short in the back because I got a butt that is my preferred length of skirt I have a Halara skirt that is one of my favorites ever and it has built-in shorts underneath that is the perfect length skirt and like the shorts keep it so that you don't like flash your booty or your cooch to anybody so like 
yeah it's one of my favorite skirts ever i love it so much um their sizing could be better don't think they go up that far honestly which is really shitty because they make really cute stuff and they should expand that oh i i bought a large and it is really stretchy but they only go up to an xl which is very shit but i bought it secondhand so like but it's still shit anyways off topic um, so this is a maxi dress from Willow and Clay, and it is in a size medium, and I paid $14. This was at more so like a resale boutique kind of thing, kind of like a Play-Doh's, but I feel like the prices were a little better. Um, so I'm not quite sure how to show this, but this is the top. Uh, you'll see it better in the try-on clip because this is so stunning on me like not to brag not to toot my own horn but this is beautiful and i'm so excited to like go to the beach and shit and it's got this like little it's got this little uh slip underneath so it's not like see-through or anything but i am so excited to go to the beach because like i am gonna be like a little like sand fairy goddess in this so this is a little Harley Davidson, um, little long sleeves. This is just peeking out of the top. This is a size XL. I wasn't sure if this was gonna fit me. I just kind of grabbed it because I thought it was really cute. And um, unfortunately, it is an XL and it's a true XL and it doesn't fit me. So, this is gonna be on my Depop. I also have a couple other Harley Davidson shirts. I forgot the word for shirts. I don't know. I also have a couple other uh, Harley Davidson pieces that I think I'm going to be listing soon. Just because they're not really like the direction that I want to take my closet into. Um, and one of them is like slightly too big for me, but anyways. <laughs> I, have some, I have some other things that I'm gonna be listing soon. This is a Victoria's Secret little camisole top. I love this so much it is so cute and it has like a built-in like bra thing i love camis that have built-in bra things yes that's what we're calling it i love camis with like the little built-in uh bra that is literally all that i wear i wear like american eagle um like tiny like crop camisoles and they're they're so small so like they hold they hold the, my boobs but they also like kind of dig into the squish on my sides because i bought them when i was a little bit smaller okay but they're still really great tank tops and i have like two black ones i have a gray one and i have a pink one i think so fire i don't even think they sell them anymore but they were so good they also remind me of like justice how they used to have those like little camisoles oh my god i wish i kept my justice camisoles but like they were so like worn they were so beat up because I literally wore those into like middle school and then they were ripping and shit so I didn't keep them but um yeah super cute also the goodwill that I got most of this stuff from was like actually decently priced like I think I think they had shirts as like four dollars and I was like I'm used to expensive Goodwill, so I don't know why this one was cheaper and had all the good shit, but like my mom and I had like a combined cart or whatever, and it was 60 bucks. I remember when we used to go thrifting when I was a kid, like before thrifting was a trendy thing, because it used to not be a trendy thing. It used to be, oh my God, you got that from the thrift store. I wouldn't touch a thrift store with a 10 foot pole. Um, We used to get overflowing carts for like 50 bucks we would just take like a hundred dollar bill to the thrift store and we would get like an overflowing cart and it would be like 50 bucks and i would get uggs and stuff all the time like half of my coach purses that i still have thrifted when i was a kid like i i miss it so much um obviously like it's still fun thrifting is still fun um but the prices can be a bit disheartening now especially since i've been thrifting since i was like eight or nine years old and it's really not the same as it was. I am gonna try and go to the bins at some point. So that'll be a fun experience for me. Um, I've never done that. This is actually one of the things I got on Whatnot. I freaking love it. This is like my favorite thing that I've gotten in this entire thing. Well, actually, I don't know. 
but it's one of my favorites. So this is the shirt. It says, too many freaks, not enough circuses. How could I not buy this? How could I not? This is actually like raised and velvety kind of. It's stretchy, it's comfy, it's perfect. This is a size medium, I think. And it's, I love it so much. I also love when things that I love are brown because I've been trying to incorporate more brown into my wardrobe just because I like brown. I don't know why I'm so like against wearing brown, but whatever. Like some of my favorite pieces are brown and they don't get worn as much because I'm like, oh, it's too stressful to make an outfit, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is another whatnot piece. This is just a cozy little sweatshirt. This I think I got for like six or seven bucks and it's like a really thin, Little little bean. See, you can like literally see through this thing. This is from Grayson Threads, and it is a size large. Although I would say that this fits more like a medium, honestly. It's kind of cropped, but yeah, super cute. So this is just from the brand Lucky, and it's a size XL, but it actually fits more like a medium or large, I would say, because like. It fits me, but it's also stretchy. So like if it wasn't stretchy, I'm not sure if it, it would fit my boobs, you know? Um, so this is a shirt. It's got like a little gathered uh, neckline thing, but the sleeves, the sleeves are the fun part. Look at these. Uh, sleeves are kind of like this little mesh. It's kind of darker and then it goes into this. I low key wish that like it wasn't darker here. And like it wasn't like two layers of mesh and it was more like this, or that they just stuck with this fabric for the sleeves, but I don't mind. Look at this. Are you kidding? So this is a little like lingerie top and when I tell you that this was like $4 and I was like, I'm getting this, I don't care if my boobs fit in it or not. The cups are like, kind of, can you see that? They're like a little bit like ripped almost and then they have this little lace and then the bows on the straps and then there's a bunch of bows that just go down the front. One of them is like stained from something, but these, and then, oh, I didn't notice this. That one's a little fucky. But one of the bows I do need to replace because this one's kind of like, can you see it? Oh my God. It's like a little stained, um, but these bows are literally from like AliExpress. So um, <laughs> I can replace the bows. I could probably take off the bows if I really wanted to. And then right here is like kind of see-through. It's like a different kind of mesh. Um, but yeah, this is so cute. I was so happy when I found this. Creative Intimate, and this is a 34B, so like a size small, I guess. Um, but I'm cramming my titties in here, I don't care. So on the same line, this is another um, lingerie piece. This is actually a little corset top. When I tell you I was so excited about this, so excited about this. This was $4, are you kidding me? I've been looking for a corset top for so long. Just like any, either like black or white, but like black obviously is 10 times better because like I'm a goth bitch. Um, are you kidding? I have no idea if I can even layer this or not because it is that close of a fit. I actually like low-key think that this used to have straps because it kind of has like fraying, like somebody cut straps off. Which like, you think I give a fuck? This is so good. Backless by Young Smoothie. This looks like an old tag, okay. Like, looks like an old tag. Um, yeah. So this is a 36C, supposedly. I feel like it kind of fits a little smaller than that, but I feel like any like long line bras or like corset tops kind of fit smaller than like whatever size they say. Or I just might have like, a, a big like whatever the fuck 
like a base like chest measurement i might just have like a big rib cage or some shit i don't know next is just this slip skirt that i got on whatnot i threw it in with like one of the other things that i bought because i was like i need a slip like loki um so yeah just a little slip skirt it's got a slit um i'm not sure if i'm gonna wear this as like a skirt or if i'm gonna just keep it uh for when i need a slip probably the latter but next we have this beautiful little thing are you kidding me and she fits me perfectly it does have little pads in here that are kind of like fucked up so i'm not sure how i'm going to fix them but i know there are ways and i am like low-key looking to see if there's like a break in the seam where they allow for that but i didn't even notice the pads when i was in the store like obsessing over this because i don't care i can take those out um but she's beautiful like oh my god this is so perfect for me i was so excited so this brand is called true freedom size large i would say true to size um because my chest is like a true large usually um but it honestly depends so i don't know My camera overheated like it does. So I think we were on this, which is a little Hello Kitty vest. Are you kidding me? Um, I got this for my Depop. So if you like this, I will be listing this for like a, re a reasonable price. Um, it is new with tags and it is freaking adorable so the last thing that i got clothing wise uh is this fur coat you'll see it better in the try on we get it you have a noisy ass truck that you refuse to fix um this is just from target a lot of like goodwills uh have been getting like brand new like target stock so um I don't know if this was a part of that or not because I didn't see multiples of these, but they could have just been like sold out in other sizes. But um, this is a furry coat. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, I had to get rid of my like rose gold furry coat finally because it was a size small. I bought it when I was like 13. It just didn't, it doesn't fit me anymore. So I had to get rid of it. I was so sad because I love furry cool coats i i freaking love them they are one of the things that i live for on this planet they are just my favorite thing so when my mom pulled this out of the rack and showed it to me and i tried it on i was like okay yeah i'm fucking getting this also oh there's the thing i was trying to find this thing to cut it off i think this was like four dollars because it was in the coat not not in the coat it was in the shirt like section and it had it has the same color like fuck you yes i'm getting this oh my god incredible incredible i love coats so now i'm just gonna show you like little thing little thing that i got for um my babies for easter i have a big dog and three kitties and i wanted to get them like mini easter baskets um and i couldn't find any online that were like prices that i wanted to pay so i didn't want to go out and like buy brand new ones because i didn't i don't think i even like the ones from five below this year so that's ruled out target was like a minimum of like ten dollars per basket and i was like really and i also didn't want to do like the shitty like plastic ones that are like a dollar i didn't want to do that either so i was like oh goodwill will probably have something right so I got this one for my little doggy. This was $4, but it's also like sturdy and it's fucking cute. And then I got this little basket for my cats. Um, I'm just gonna put like little mice or something in here. I think this is so cute. Oh, and this was $1.99. And they look like actual Easter baskets too. That's what I wanted. I wanted actual baskets. So I'm very happy. Um. Yes, this is, this is my thing 
Um, I'm not a kid person. I'm never gonna have kids. My cats and my dog, my fur babies are my children. And I'm gonna do Easter for them. Because why not? Before I go, I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys what my mom uh, got for me as an engagement present. But I, there were a lot of reasons why I couldn't get it until now. Um, one being they don't live in the state anymore. <laughs> There were a lot of reasons, a lot of problems. Um, anyways, now I have it, finally. She brought it with when I was uh, trying on dresses and stuff, so she like showed it for like uh, my future in-laws and stuff, and it was so cute. Um, so this is what she got for us after we got engaged. It's a little a carriage, and it has a little, a little married couple in there, but they're skeletons. And then, uh, let me just... It lights up and the glitter blows around. I love it so much, so much. I sobbed when she told me that uh, she got me this. Hello. I just got back from getting some ice cream and I'm very happy. And I got a package. So we're gonna open it because this is part of the haul. So, look at my child I'm just like chilling in there. I need a whole section for Beanie Boos on my, uh, on my shelf. Cause I have so many. Like this is not all of them. I have like a ton more that are in a box right now. Oh, look at this. Look at her. So got some pogs as a gift. I have some other ones that I got a while back. Um, they're like actually Easter themed. Like they have bunnies and stuff and little hearts. These are like monsters, like Halloween cryptid kind of thing. That is basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I make a lot of different stuff, a lot of lifestyle content, uh, hauls, pet play related stuff, uh, kink related stuff. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!